Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for Figma Archer from the Fate Stay Night animation series. And it's been a while since I watched the show, but nonetheless, um, it's it's a great show. I really liked it and highly recommend to check that out. Now, so here's the Figma. And when it first came out, um, kind of reluctant to get it, but I finally did. Of uh, Reasons of getting it is uh, I like the cool sword, the dual wielding. And it's always great to have another uh, male Figma. Usually, you only get the female characters. It's kind of uh, great to kind of balance it out. So, uh, my knowledge of the show is actually quite limited. It actually extends to, uh, I think, the story arc. Um, there's a prologue and more of that. So, I'm not too familiar with that. And it's actually, uh, this particular uh, character, Archer, is related to which I don't want to spoil, but uh, if you ever check it out, and some of you might have probably known the story a lot more, there you go. <laughs> but uh, in particular, I got this, uh, it has a cool weapons, um, seems like you have a bow, you have the dual wielding uh, scimitars, and you even have a, like a spear or sword. Hmm, interesting, or I think that might be the arrow for the bow. Yeah, cool looking figure, and uh, let's take a look inside. Alright, a quick look at the instructions. Seems like we have a couple of pairs of hands. We got only one face to swap out. And instructions on how to mount the hand for the bow. Hmm. That's it. We got the archer here. It looks pretty cool. He got this uh, trench coat. And actually, it's uh, kind of like a two piece, which is kind of weird why it's not just one. <laughs> What is there? Uh, this part here, it's kind of like rubber. This are hard plastic. It has a little flexibility on them. It's connected in a Figma joint down there. And yeah, I mean, it has some articulation, which is cool. Although one thing I don't like is when you have this down and this thing is still up there. Kind of wish it's, well, not to think of it. It'll be hard if they mold it all in one or the joints will be sticking out there. So, not too bad. Uh, there are, well, this part here is also rubber. There are slits here. It's gonna help you, uh, or help his articulation. Yes, yeah, nice. Get a mid section uh, articulation there. I just hope the silt or, or the gray paint underneath doesn't rub off. And a rubber part here. You can move up, bend the knees. He doesn't have a third uh, piece for the knee, but nonetheless, actually, Figma doesn't do that. But uh, it's not too bad from this angle right here. Uh, the Figma joint is gray. On the back side, not too bad either. Yeah, it doesn't stick out as much. <laughs> They have ankle joints here. So you get some nice metallic paint on that. You get some heel for the toes. So yeah. You also get a swivel here. What else we got here? I think that's about it. I do notice that the fist uh it's kinda angled already. Hmm. Yeah, not too bad and you get the neck. Um, it's kind of limited in terms of articulation but you can look left and right. Yeah, I think that's about it in terms of articulation. Let's look at the accessories. Alright, you get different pairs of hands here. But uh, there is quite a bit of an angle so the peg is actually sticking out towards the direction of the thumb. So it's in an angle and putting on, on this stand here or the Figma handstand it doesn't quite work out. It needs to be at an angle like this. It's end up bending it if you want to put it on securely. Oh, on the other note, you have a separate face, the angry face. Uh, which let's go ahead and swap it. It's my first time, so there we go. Oh, interesting. That's a clear uh, peg there. There we go.
And there you have it. He's angry now. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's do some swapping. Uh, most likely, let's go with the hands. Uh, or for dual building. So this one just pops off easily. Uh, this part of a rubber, which... It's just kind of... Here. <laughs> Don't need to worry about it. Peg this on. Right, so since it's already angled, it's kind of weird why they angled already. Well, I guess when you're wielding a sword. Alright, so that's that part. Let's just put this aside and uh, let's take a look at the swords. Alright, so we got two swords here, and I believe they're called uh, what's it called Kancho and Bakuya, Yin and Yang. Yeah, very interesting swords. This one has a, a black with a red uh, hexagons on it. Nicely detailed. And uh, I believe this one is wielded on the right. So it's hard the first time. <laughs> Get that. Uh, and to be loose there we go and the other one so the this is a pr pretty cool sword and I'm always a fan of dual wielding whether it be a sword or some sort of pistol rifle or pistol or guns yeah put this back there there we go so very neat Yep, <laughs> that's very cool. Uh, next part is the bow. We got the bow here. This is actually quite tall, taller than him. Maybe by another inch. Very nice. And uh, also comes with this sword here, which I believe is called a Kalad Bolg too. It's kind of like a spherical sword, which is the arrow for this. Uh, there's no strings on this one, but on the bow, I'm sure someone can add uh, strings, but I don't think it's necessary. Again, uh, for instruction, we can pop this out. There's a peg there, like so. And use one of the hands here. I think, uh, yeah, let's swap this out. Take this out. Probably best to do that removing it from the arm. There we go. But most likely I'll have him pose uh, with the dual swords. I, I really like that. Hopefully I'm not scraping the paint off as I remove it from the fingers. Got that wide grip. Why do they do this? <laughs> Alright, getting back to this. Um, again, from the instruction, let me just quick, quickly review. Okay. So we're, it's gonna be here. Huh, that's not a problem. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Most likely I have to push the thumb first and put it in between and get this thing to grab over. Might do that off camera and see how that goes. Alright, I managed to get in there. <clears throat> I had to pry the thumb open and while well, kind of pushing it in there. It's, I wouldn't, I really don't like this way of uh, putting this on. Kind of wish you can split the bow in half. Alright, next part is the spear. And we're going to grab this particular handle here. And it's going to be using it as a bow. Or arrow, I guess. <laughs> um, another... 
Yeah, that's how the heck do you put that on? The mysteries. Alright, so I guess that kind of works. And put this on here. There. Um. Yeah, good enough. I, I really... Maybe that's how he's going to use that for. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think uh, this has enough. Well, let's see. Uh, maybe uh, it takes a little uh, bit of getting used to since the joint again is in, in an angle. And so, yeah, that's I'm still getting used to it. And the joint doesn't stay on there. There we go. More or less. <laughs> that's gonna be a problem eventually. All right, I have this pose. Kind of like the box art. Uh, it's actually a pretty cool pose and I might just leave it on this. And again, you gotta put this on. I have to say, putting this long bag or the pack is slightly bigger than the the ones on the back. So you might have to really force it in. I'm not sure if it's just my Figma, but uh, I had a little difficulty, but it's halfway in. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Same on this part here. You can have him suspended, but that involves really tightening the screws here. Because uh, it's in that certain angle. You get a lot of uh, weight over here, and then you're angling this. And it's doable. And likewise, I really like the details on the blades. They look pretty cool. This overall look. Just like Archer in the TV animation. And I really like the design they did on this. Cutting slits on front to allow this uh, forward arm movement. That's really great. And you get a little bit of slack going backwards since the whole thing's rubber. Yeah, it's just amazing. Uh, I really enjoyed this figure. Highly recommend it. Pretty cool. My only few things I didn't like, again, the stand. And uh, probably this. Because when you close it down, it still kind of sticks up. But I, I don't think there's any way to go around that for now. Maybe in the future you find a better way. <laughs> and also the angle the uh, wrist uh, joints which I'm still getting the hang of. But that's those are just a few minor things. Yeah I think that's about it for the review. Um, another thing I want to follow up again is the bow. It's it's a little bit of oh, it takes a little bit of difficulty to there's a little bit of dirt there. Why is there a dirt there? Hold on. Get a little bit of... There we go. So uh, putting the hand on this one is a little difficult. You may have to use a flat screwdriver. While well, prying is a uh, thumb. Um, kind of like this. You gotta force this open. While putting it on here. I was able to remove mine. This is wielding the sword now. And I don't see any damages on the paint. I had problems with that with other Figmas, but this one, since the paint is uh, very solid, so that's actually quite good. And you have this spear here, <laughs> or kind of like a, it's a sword slash spear slash arrow. <laughs> All right, that's pretty much it for the review. Hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, let me know. So until then, this is Meets. Thanks for watching.